everyone welcome in thank you so much for watching if you guys don't know who i am my name is alice aka fox queen today um i figured we'd do a little bit of a tinier let's play because this is a little bit of a shorter game and i'm doing a lot of other long games and i don't know much about this game there as you can tell it's really quiet in the background it's because there's like no music to this so far it's pretty much just all like eerie silence with some wind which is interesting, kind of sets the mood, I see. But I I know this game's kind of gay, and that's kind of it. The art style looks good. I've heard some of my friends really like it, but I really don't know much about it other than that. So I guess let's just kind of jump into it and go from there and see how it goes. Oh? Oh, it's by Annapurna. Oh, I've never played an Annapurna game. I always hear really great things about them, but I haven't yet for not for some reason. Oh. Okay. You just erase everything? Oh. Oh. Probably not everything. I probably don't have to do that. Okay. Seven fifty million kilometers from Earth. Oh, this is a space game. In orbit around Jupiter. I've never been so far before. Oh, this is kind of really cool. I like the concept of erasing to like scene change. I need to go further. Only one more jump. And I'll be the first to reach planet X. Okay. Oh, what's the pink? Okay. I'm still alive. I did it. I'm directly within orbit of Planet X. I've proved the theory. It's real. But where is it? That's the question, huh? I can feel its gravity. How can it be so small when its pull is so strong? These readings. Something is wrong. Oh. Circle. This is a black hole. Oh. Um. Well, can't erase that, I guess. Oh. If found. Okay, okay. So far, I'm really digging this. This is super cool. Oh, this book belongs to somebody. December 3rd, night. Oh, frick. December 3rd, 1993. My name is Cassio. Your earliest memory is. Uh, holding you up on the beach, lifting you over the waves, rain coming in. He said best to get back to your, or your mom will worry. You finished two goes of college. You. Oh, it's trying to like zoom in. Sorry, I really wanted to read this. I'm home. You don't need a relationship. Relationships don't work with you. You can try to be normal and have a relationship, but it's never felt right, and that's okay. It's okay to be quiet and weird. It's true. It is okay. There's nothing wrong with not being in a relationship. Oh, kind of erasing her journal. I don't know if that's good. 
I like the eraser shavings. That's a good touch. Oh, I realized it would have zoomed in. I didn't. I, w I was freaking out that I would lose the page, but that's. I, I totally didn't. I'm home. Okay. Oh, I can't erase this. Your undergrad and your masters. Everyone thought you couldn't even survive on your own. You stick with it. When people stare, you just ignore them. Think about the stars and the galaxies and dark matter, whatever it is. Remember how small and insignificant we all are. You don't need to be nice to people who bully you. Never. That's true. You don't need to be nice to people. You don't need to be nice to everyone. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's a lot. This is such a cool way to go about a visual novel. Like, I love this. I don't know if it's entirely that, but so far it seems like that. And I think that's such, it's so cool. Man, Brit, mom, I think? Brid, to, McHugh? Likes hosting the knitting circle in the house, watching winning streak on Saturdays. Hates driving to Castle Bar to go to the big shop. What is, I don't know what that, means um mowing the lawn the parish council my favorite thing about her watching her slowly pick out a tune on the piano from scrappy sheets of paper oh cute what is this oh and oh this is irish an irish version of the name bridget Oh, Brid. I hope I'm saying that right. If if I'm not, please feel free to correct me on that. Or is it supposed to be like Brit then? Brit? I don't know. Irish. A famous Irish saint. Oh, okay. It's pronounced with a long E. Oh, they're telling me how to do it. Brigit? Similar to the English word breed. Brigit? Breed? Bridget. Bridget. Okay. But the final D is um, almost a J sound. Final D? Okay. Brige, Brige, Brigitte? Brigitte? Brigitte or Brigitte? Brigitte. <laughs> I'm struggling so much here. Um, okay. Brie. Breed jet. Breed jet? Bridge bridge get. Bridge get? <laughs> I don't know. Bridge get or I don't know. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try another time. It should be um bridge anyway. Bri yeah, bridge. Castle Bar is the closest town to a kill a medieval market town. The name suggests it has a castle. I was struggling so much there. So sorry everyone. My apologies. So it's trying, I promise. I don't know why my brain couldn't process that. Things to remember, she's from the mainland from Westport. Oh, so the, so the main character is Irish, I imagine. Or in the UK of some sort, at least. From the mainland from Westport. She jokes that she came from for my da, but stayed for his five sisters. All cute. When I went to school, she started working in the post office. Okay, yeah, I'm just imagining they live in Ireland. That's cool. She only knows how to bake a few things, but she has a great commitment to it. Ma'am is determined that me and Fergal will pass on her brown bread recipe. Cute! The only thing she kept of Da was his Sunday jacket. For me or Fregal when we were old enough. I'm a little worried that we're erasing this because it's like being erased from her memory or something. I don't know. Virgil Mikio, age 30. Likes GAA. A few scoops down the pub with the lads. Hates thinking. Yeah, me too. Can I know what that means? A Gaelic Athletic Association. This is the organizing body for the traditional Irish sports of Gaelic football and hurling, which are very popular, especially in rural areas. 
the GAA is usually a big part of the local community. Okay, so this has got a lot of, of Irish things. Okay, please feel free if I'm saying any um, any Irish names or any Irish things wrong, please feel free to correct me. Seems like they're trying really hard to get me to at least pronounce it right. I'm definitely I'm definitely trying, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm messing up a few of these. So just you know, let me know if you know. Things to remember about Fergal. My favorite thing about him, we used to go and pick mussels together in Keen sometimes. He has a photo in his room at his Debs. Debs. Oh my god. Like the Irish version of prom. Oh, cute! A big dance held for students who have finished secondary school. Although the actual date can be before they finish or months afterwards. Except, expect fancy dresses, suits, and lots of alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I was like, alcohol at prom, but then I remembered america is has like a different age for that and then uh the uk in general and just europe in general um sarah is there before she left for australia he's smiling at the camera with his big goofy goofy grin he was the one who told me da was in the hospital he came and knocked on the door of my classroom I knew at, at once something was wrong. His favorite films are James Bond films. He watches them religiously when they're on the telly. Cute, cute. Okay. December 4th, Saturday. I'm home for a month, then I can get back to Dublin. Fine, fine. Feels like I haven't been on the island in years. Research jobs, projects, long hours, doing inventory in the supermarket, anything to keep myself away. I wanted to write a letter to mom. Mom? Hi, this is who I am. Here's my name. Ta, couldn't. Good memories here too, for what that's worth. Tea, hot water, bottles. Say, uh, say your prayers, sleep tight. Mommy loves you, loves a you. Tea in Ireland always means a blend, Irish breakfast. It's an extremely high caffeine variety, almost always drunk with milk. And often with sugar too. Ooh, okay. I see, I see. Tea, tea in the southern U.S. means Lipton black tea with five pounds of sugar. It's mostly just sugar water, really. But if if you were if you were wondering, if you ask for sweet tea, or if you ask for tea um, in a restaurant in the South in the U.S., uh, you you're just going to get that. <laughs> um, and it's it's always sweet tea. By default, um, unsweet is not the default, and you have to specify. But that's tea here, typically. It's not as nice. <laughs> a hot water bottle, a rubber container filled with boiling water and covered with soft cloth. Electric blankets were common in Ireland in 1993, so hot water bottles were essential for cold winter nights. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Here's my name. Did they change their name? I'm fine. I don't think that's true, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay to not be fine. Sunday, back from mass, no air in this house. Nobody has drawn a breath here since dad. Oh, Dawes wake. Oh, they died. Okay, he died. Wigs are an important part of Irish funerals. It's an often upbeat get-together held the night before the body is buried, where neighbors come over, reminisce, and tell stories that celebrate the life of the deceased. Oh. I can't stand sitting around. I need to breathe. I pedal down the road like if I just went fast enough, I could leave it all behind. Oh. Sat at Keen Bay and watched the horizon. Keem Bay is a famous beach on the west end of the Kill Island. It's incredibly beautiful with yellow sand and surrounded by hills and cliffs. Oof. I'd love to visit Ireland one day. Then Colm appeared. Colm. It is you. Well, haven't you changed? Good to see you again, Colm. Call me Cassio. Nodded. Smiled. Should meet my boyfriend, Jack. The weather approved. The brightest day since October. Is Cassio trans? Maybe. Hey, Space Geek. Oof. 
That's a cute little drawing. I like the little drawings. Monday 6. Fergal mentioned working at the post office again. No thanks. Too many faces. Post office. Cassia's mother and brother both work at the post office on a kill. Post offices in Ireland are community hubs, not least because they connect locals to distant family. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. In addition to letters, they also hand out social welfare payments and government pensions. Oh, interesting. They do this all at post office and often ask as, act as banks in rural communities. Most of them are part of the news agent or even a pub. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. I kind of wish I don't know. I wish we had more like community hubs in America. Ours are all kind of like just bars at this point, which kind of sucks. Bars are church, really, and that's kind of it. Met Colm and Jack at the abandoned village and climbed up so, uh, Sleevemore? S Sleevemore? Jack was all teeth and laughter, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed enthusiasm. I don't think anyone from the kill is that relaxed. The abandoned village is a local tourist landmark in a kill. I really hope I'm saying a kill, right? A village that was completely abandoned during the Great Famine of 1845 to 1849. But most of it was used up in the early 20th century as a summer village for farmers working on the mountain. Akil is, a, is the largest island off the coast of Ireland, connected by a bridge to the mainland. Oh, they tell me how to say it. Akil. Okay. I th so, I think I'm saying it right. It's part of the county Mayo, one of the five counties in the province of Connacht. Connacht? Maybe. Okay. A band? You're kidding. No, really. With a young gun, Sean's. A real talent, Sean's are is. We're called the Banshee. Cute. Jack's on the drums, of course. Colm is the bassist, setting the groove. Sean sings and Sean sings and writes. I wonder what he's like. Jack's cute. This is cute. I really love the art in this so far. It's very cute. Tuesday. Got hungry, went to Dugort. Dugort. is a village, another village on the north coast of the Kill. It's always been one of the tourist hubs of the island. Pronunciation. Dug is like the past tense of dig. Ort rhymes with hurt. Oh, hurt. Ort. Okay, so Dugort, I think the tea shop they make the only decent sandwich on a kill telling and hearing five years of stories colin had much more than me come hang out with us if you want some space cassio we're out in the big house out towards keen the three of us are living there together it's amazing oh cute this is a common nickname for the houses that belong to anglo irish aristoc aristocracy aristocracy in the years before independence <laughs> Yeah, it's grand. At least after we cleared out all the broken bottles. Come watch us practice. Oh, I need to start doing voices for them. I, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out who's talking. So I haven't, I haven't really made voices because it, it feels more like, I don't know. It, it's definitely all Cassio's thoughts for sure. But there's definitely some quotes in here. I'm having trouble knowing who's being the person. If, if that... I'm going to stick to just one voice for now, but if we start getting to the point where it's more easy to tell, I'll switch, I'll switch up some voices. Grand is a typical Irish expression. As an answer to a question, it means fine. As an adjective, example, a grand old day, grand stretch in the evening, it means lovely or nice. Oh, cute. Maybe the month will be grand. I don't feel like that's what this says. <laughs> oh? Old room, old habits, old home. Okay. It was nice to be fed and to sleep in my own bed, although it felt like a coffin, so dark and so empty outside. 
I got up to think and to figure out how to talk to her. To Ma? Who? A plan. Nothing else? Okay. I think that's Ma. 2.212 a.m.? December... Do they... Do they do that? Oh, frick. December what? Oh, frick. My wee pet? What do you do? Oh, wait. <clears throat> My wee pet... Oh, I'm not doing accents. I, I I thought about it, and then I decided I'm not doing them. I'm, I can't... <laughs> That would just be disrespectful. I just, I can't even get even close to a good accent that's Irish. I'm so sorry. So just, um, my apologies. <clears throat> my wee pet, what are you doing awake at this hour? Hey, Ma, just wanted to make a cup of tea. Oh, the pot's on. Lovely. What do you have there? N nothing. I uh, thought you might be drawing. Used to do such lovely drawings when you were small. Our little artist. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone to art school instead. You had so much potential. You could have done anything you put your mind to. Do you know Luke got a very good job in Castle Bar, working for the bar? <laughs> well done, Luke. He said they're always looking for people. Said it's very technical, and lots of numbers. Ah, uh, Ma, not this again. Don't tell anyone, but his mom said... He's making near 35 grand a year. That's not nothing, dear. Mom, I'm not... I'm going back to college in January for a PhD. And what does that get you? What will you do then? Will you make any money with that? Can't keep scraping by, pet. You know we can't help you out much. I'm going to do what I really want to do. Stars and things? Yes, the building blocks of everything. Well, okay. And how are you going to look after yourself? Not to mention, of course, a family of your own. But I just don't understand this whole alternative thing. It was a great show about teenage phases in Liveline the other day. Liveline. It was an Irish call and radio show about current events and social issues. It fo focuses on political and social topics. It's not a phase, and I'm 23. Look. Gonna have to face the facts. Settle down. Oh, she's trans. Oh my gosh. Settle down with a nice woman and get your life in order. Once you have children of your own, you'll understand. I don't want the same life as you and Da. You won't even entertain this for a second. We always wanted the best for you and Fergal. Then let me live the life I want to. How can this be the life you want? With that hair and your clothes? It's none of your business. Oh God, you're really lost. Doubling that university. It's changed you. You'll let it. You're not the person I've known. Oh. And what gives you the right to say who I really am? Don't you dare take that tone with me. I'm your mother. Well, you should act like it then. What does that mean? Aren't mothers supposed to love their children? Well? You have no right to say that. I struggled every day to raise you. And if not for me, you'd be out perishing in the cold. Ungrateful Wayne. Jesus Christ, I can't take another minute of you. Come back here, this instant, and don't take the Lord's name in vain. Oh, Cassio, poor girl. Jeez, this like, this was really, this journal entry was really good at depicting that <laughs> situation. My God. I really felt it. Oof. I don't know how good Ireland is with trans issues and I'm sweating. Showed up at Column's door, soaked to the bone. In my head, I could hear ma'am say and I looked like a drowned rat. I keep going into a little bit of a southern accent because that's kind of like my standard go-to with like slang. Um, and I know it's not right. I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to dip into it. It just keeps coming out. Column opened the door. He looked at me once and took me inside. Oh, that makes sense why she got so close to to them. My brain didn't click that those, um, 
him and his boyfriend are gay, so the, you know, they all just congregate. All, all the, all the LGBT, we just, we just click in together. I can only imagine in 1990 frickin' three. Poor Cassio. Oh, it's really coming down. I really need to stop trying to erase everything. My brain, I just, I don't know. I just love doing it. I feel like it's kind of atmospheric to leave a little bit, but I just, I just want to clear the entire screen. Hello? Anyone? Come on, answer me! Damn it, the anomaly, the black hole, it's going to devour me! Devour all of us. One last message before communication cuts out. I'm going in. If I can't save Earth, at least I'll find answers. Dr. Cassiopeia, over and out. Doctor, can you... We can't... Hello? And again... Uh, give up hope. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying. I was trying. Hello? Oh, this is Peach. It's cute. What is this? She became a doctor, though. That's so cool. Good for her. Oh, uh, hi. I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry. Uh, nice to meet you. Bye. Oh, cute. I love cats. Oh, she go back to sleep. Good, good, good. God, the art in this is stunning. I love it. It's very good at depicting emotion as well. It took me a long moment to realize where I was. My head was throbbing. I looked around. It was the big house. Column's new place. Their squat. My breath relaxed. 10.14 a.m. 10.45. Oh my god. December 8th. Coming and going. Banshee. That's so cute. Oh. Jack jumped through the sitting door. Wakey, wakey. Even his grin was loud and happy. Food's coming. Lots of rashers. What does that mean? It's a common word for Irish bacon. Oh, it's leaner and meatier than American bacon because it comes from the loin of the pig. Oh, okay. Colin was the next apparition at the door. His voice was much softer, encouraging me to get up while the food was hot. Cute. My eyelids still wanted to close. I didn't know how to say thanks, but I rolled onto the cold wooden floor and pulled myself up slowly. The kitchen... What was the kitchen? I can't read. So... The kitchen smelled so good. Hello? Okay, sorry, I couldn't erase for a second. Oh, 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 I, I can drag? Have I always been able to do this? It was the guy with the guitar, Shans. I didn't know if I'd been dreaming. I compliment, oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go over here yet. I think I was supposed to go over there. Without thinking. Oh, it's nothing. Had I said something stupid? Cute. Oh, cute! I couldn't tell if he was shy or cocky. Oh. She gonna fall for this pink-haired boy? Oh, okay. Welcome to our fabli fabulous abode, Cassio. Sit thyself and prepare for a breakfast extravaganza. Cute. Oh, found family. I'm sobbing. That's my favorite trope. 
Oh god, and they're gay found family. That's even better. Oh my god. I think I outdid myself, as always. I was salivating at the sight of the fry up. An Irish breakfast, including sausages, rashers, black and white pudding, toast, sometimes eggs, sometimes mushrooms, sometimes fried tomatoes. Oh, that sounds yummy. Completely different, and also not very different at all, to English or Scottish breakfast. I don't know anything about Scottish breakfast. I guess they're all kind of like sort of similar, but like different. Which makes sense. I know about English breakfast, but it makes sense that they all have kind of sort of variations on that. Oh. I would love to try it one day. I do be vegetarian, though. <laughs> I'd love to try a vegetarian version. I did see someone do a vegetarian version of um, of English breakfast, at least. I should try making that at some point. And then, like, figuring it out from there. And then Irish breakfast. And then Scottish breakfast. And just breakfast. I love food. <laughs> They all seem so comfortable in their own skin, so open with each other. Cute. I'm sobbing. I love found families. Ugh. Crying. We were still sitting at the table when the Anglis played over the radio. It was noon. Oh my god, I must have needed a big sleep. Man would have a fit if I was still in bed at home. The Anglis is a traditional Catholic prayer time where church bells are rung for a minute at 6 a.m., midday, and 6 p.m. In Ireland, the bells are played on national radio and television stations. Is that still the thing? Have a fit. Get angry. I knew that one. That's interesting. Actually, it makes sense. I feel like Ireland's a pretty religious country. Jack teeds Shans. Shans? I'm gonna say Shans. While well, I just ate, I gulped down many salty, crispy rashers. Cute. Cute. Oh, I love her. I only want happiness for her. Frick me. I wondered if I could go back. No. Or was there anywhere I could stay in Dublin? I don't know. Aww. They'll probably let you stay here. Girly, it's probably fine. They have room for you. Column interrupted my thoughts. It calmed me down. You're not going nowhere, kiddo. Oh yeah. Keep her here. Keep her safe. Wait, why can't I... Okay. Is there anything over here? He told me I'd have a home with them when I needed it. He's been through this himself before. I'm gonna cry. Found family, found family. A home, even if that home is leaking and damp, it turned out the only suitable room for me left was their practice room. I felt guilty, but cared for. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's colored. I love that. Just like home. Cute. I don't like that the cozy music stopped, though. What is that? Watching the toy show with Colm was like being kids again. Big kids looking out for each other and eating too many sweets. The late, toy sh the late Late Toy Show is an episode of the Late Night Chat Show, The Late Late Show. It just airs just before Christmas. Different children come on the show to play with and talk about popular toys and to perform. Oh, cute. <laughs> cute. I love the little gays. Kiss me, honey bun. Oh, wait. Okay. What should his voice be? I don't remember what his name is. <clears throat> Mm, kiss me, honey bun. Ah, he's attacking me. Oi, get a room. We're going, we're going. Oh, I have no idea. Come on, Mo. My love. Oh, cute. One dialect would pronounce it 
moi gras moi gras cute moi gras okay okay slan it's a quick way of saying goodbye in irish a shortened version of slan abhel or safe journey home when dialect would pronounce it slan okay so i was i was close I'm imagining I'm saying it with a harsh American accent, but <laughs> I'm usually guessing it right, at least, like, generally. <laughs> Salon losers. Cute. Awkward silence, awkward silence, awkward silence. Oh. Yeah, fair. Uh, so, how did you three meet anyway? We all went on this trip to Tip this year from Castle Bar. Trip to Tip, a nickname for the music festival Fiali, which took place in County Tipperary between 1990 and 1997. Ah, the last one's where I was born. <laughs> this game takes place a lot before then. <laughs> it was some... <laughs> God, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of Irish words here. <laughs> Literally the Irish word for fun can be used to mean fun in hib Hiberno English, but can also be used in questions like, what's the crake? To mean, what's up? Or how are you? Cute! But some crake had my guitar on the bus. In the middle of the jam, Jack told me we were starting a band. <laughs> I can believe it. I hope Jack knows I have the musical ability of a broken wheel. <laughs> I'm glad to have you in my house anyway. How do you even end up here? I knew this place was... This place is the scary ghost house when I was a kid. Column suggested it. We were talking about putting together an EP and we needed somewhere to practice. That's so cool. We got an actual gig coming up soon. <laughs> That'll be deadly. I wish we were a little bit more focused on music though. Sometimes I think Column and Jack just like having a place they can be together. Oh, I, I was a little surprised at the breakfast. And you were so comfortable around them. Ah, it doesn't bother me. Column and Jack are good people. They're outsiders, and I'm an outsider too. And it's legal now anyway. Hey, Nice! About time. But it is kind of intense living on top of each other sometimes, so I'm really happy you're here. I can talk to someone when they're busy snogging. <laughs> Hooray! You know, I think I did the leaving with your sister, at Asha. Asha? Asha? The leaving certificate is the university entrance exam in Ireland. It always happens over the first two or three weeks of June and is commonly seen as a harbinger of good summer weather. Cute. Your family owns Niles Chipper, right? Chipper are Ireland's fast food. The most important item are chips, steak cut fries, supplemented by things like battered sausage, fish, burgers, or onion rings. Hey, onion rings. Even small towns would have one or two. That makes sense. My dad runs it, yeah? We all get roped in to help. I remember when Asha moved into my class. I never heard a Manchester accent in real life. Well, she's back there now with my mom's sister. She's studying medicine and everything, just like mom. Cool, she was nice to me. We haven't talked to people from my class in ages. I, I haven't talked to people in my class from age, in ages. I left to kill so quickly after school. Everybody leaves a kiln. I didn't think it would be so different when school ended. School. The Irish school system is a bit different from US or UK. There are two levels of school, primary and secondary. I heard about that. Primary is from 5 to 12. And secondary is 13 to 18. Oh, okay. Most schools are still connected to Catholic institutions, especially in areas like a kiln. Okay, so I'm right in thinking that it's probably... If I'm remembering, Ireland's pretty religious. Pretty Catholic, specifically. Irish Catholic is pretty... Pretty big from... My memory. Tell me... Tell me about Dublin. Must be all kinds of things happening. Oh, they're having like a cute moment. Gigs, parties, party gigs. Probably. I don't do much in Dublin or talk to anyone, but there is libraries. Most I read about physics and work and do computer stuff. My parents would love you. Oh! 
Oh, that? Okay. Well, I might be looking for new ones. Would they like another child? <laughs> We're having a moment. This is cute. Like Asio. Oik. Oi. Oichi. Mythe? The Irish for goodnight. One dialogue dialect would pronounce it as e ha wa e ha wa really i wouldn't have even guessed that oh my gosh e ha wa okay i feel like i'm butchering that a little bit to be honest i like that they say one dialect because i know i know a big thing um in a lot of areas of the uk i i know i'm lumping them together a lot which isn't the best but um just, I, I know there's like, because, just generally because all the areas are so small. Like, in Ireland specifically, I guess, there's a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different, like, dialects and accents and different ways to pronounce it. Which makes sense. I mean, it's like that in the U.S., but it's all spread out because the U.S. is so big. But it, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's just interesting how many, how many accents and dialects and different ways to pronounce, like, you know, the same thing there are in places. Cute. No? Are we going back to the current, maybe? Oh, there's a lot here. Band practice all day. I sat in the corner and listened. Jack, you're coming in too soon. He huffed until Colin kissed his cheek. Cute. By tea time, they were playing in the dark. The house's mishmash of wires couldn't handle their equipment and lights. An expression that means disorganized mix of things. It's a compliment. Cute. Oh, that's for the other thing. Okay. I told them they sounded like Bon Jovi, but it didn't go well. Jack shook his head sadly. Not everything is perfect. It's a compliment. The house is freezing, the immersion doesn't work, and I've learned a lot about different types of mold, but who cares? Oh, is is that like mold as in... Because we spell that like mold... That would be like molding for like a house, but I know sometimes a lot of um a lot of languages in the uk will use like will put you in things that we wouldn't put in things or take you out of things is that like mold as in like <laughs> as in like bad mold like like mold i don't <laughs> i don't know how to describe you know what i mean like like make you ill mold i i i guess because it's leaking i'd imagine Jack and Colum Jack Colum and Sean's are all so nice. I'll figure my life out tomorrow or the day after and wash my one set of clothes. Oh, she didn't get to bring more clothes. Poor girl. Tenth, a rare blue sky. I wanted to get um, in the fresh air and Sean's joined me for company. Spotted Miss Ginty in a field halfway up the hill to the Lau, her sheep running ahead of her. She whistled sharply. This is Ginty. I don't think she recognized me, but gave us a short, swift nod before she turned back up the hill, sheep in tow. Oh. She might have seen her before. We talked about Manchester and Dublin. He was very impressed with my astrophysics. There was an eviction notice from the guards when I got home. Don't worry, we get one every week. Oh, no. Agarda Siochana. Garde, Gardai, the guards. The name for the Irish police force. Oh, they call them the guards. Okay. Eleventh. Woke up and Colin was lighting a fire. I could feel the warmth return to my bones. Why are they all squiggled out? I chopped peat brickets into the thin slivers, into thin slivers before the rain came. We had to ration our fuel, but I just watched the blaze going all day. Aww. she's so cute 
briquettes, a common form of fuel in Ireland, made by compressing the peat from the bogs. The bogs that cover a large part of Irish midlands. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Shans put on a tape as we hung up some Christmas lights. The four of us lay around the living room listening to the cure. There's a strange sensation in my body somewhere. Has a weight dropped from my shoulders or have I lost something important? I don't know. Trauma! Eesh. Sunday 12th. Sean's went home today and I missed him. Colin brought the rest of us to his Aunt Maggie's. Colin stayed with her back when his parents kicked him out. She's a nice cottage overlooking Duggart Beach, half swallowed by fuchsia bushes and giant rhubarb. How cute. Aunt Maggie's. Dugwort. This is in another village on the north coast of the Kill. It's always been one of the tourist hubs on the island. Pronunciation Doug, like the past. Ort, like hurt. Oh, Hort. Doug Ort. Doug Ort. Yes. Okay. A giant rhubarb. This is the common name of an invasive plant that grows all over a Kill. Oh. It's not actually. Oh, I was about to say. Is rhubarb invasive there? But it looks similar and does get really big. Oh, interesting. Okay. She called us all wee lambs. <laughs> Made us cup after cup of tea and insisted we stayed for dinner. Chops and peas and coffee cake. A ca the cake was unbearably dry, but I ate a big slice anyway. We left before it got too dark and she gave us a huge shopping bag of food to take back. There were four selection boxes in there too. Is that Christmas? Selection boxes. These are common Christmas presents for children. It's a big box with around six chocolate bars in it. Oh, that's pretty nice. An Ireland coffee cake is a coffee flavored sponge with coffee buttercream. Ours is pretty similar to that, I would say, in America. I think. If I'm remembering right. I haven't made a coffee cake in years, to be honest. Things to remember about Colm. Sorry. <gasps> Why sorry? What happened with Colum? <gasps> oh no. He likes junk food, goes weak at the knees for packs of crisps, especially their salt and vinegar. Hates working in the Corrigans. News agent, cities this summer. Loves bass, walking, um, walking bass lines. <laughs> Jack, Auntie Maggie, a kill. He'll take care of anyone and anything. That's how I met him. Because he was feeding a stray cat near the school. Aww. My favorite thing about him, the way he awkwardly rubs the back of his head when he's nervous. Cute. What happened? I mean, they're they're all scratched out, but I didn't... I, I haven't processed as much the scratch outs, to be honest. What did she do? For all his kindness, he has a wicked sense of gallows humor. His laugh is surprisingly loud, given how quiet he is. Colm doesn't do half measures. It's like the way he feels about Jack. He's all or nothing. Colm's good to tell secrets too, but he's not great for giving advice. He's not that good at making decisions for himself. Aw, poor boy. Poor little gay boy. December 13th. Starting to forget my routine before I move to the, bo move to the big house. I wake up at 12 and I'm out of bed at 1ish whenever the band starts. Can't erase this. I wonder who lived here before, some landlord, dead generations ago. At three, there was a knock, and then a bang on the door. I saw him coming through the curtain, so I disappeared. Fergal on his little post bike, with a letter from ma'am. Jack was the one who opened the door. The one who handed me the envelope. I haven't left my room since. Aww. Casio. Some landlord. The nobility who owned the big houses would also have owned a lot of land around them which was rented out to Irish peasants. For example, Captain Boycott once lived on a kill island before famously being boycotted on land he owned elsewhere in Mayo. Oh, interesting. I don't know who Captain Boycott is. I guess someone famous in Ireland? I suppose. Okay. I talked to Sean's. He had a solution for everything. I have no things, so we're going to get my things. Tonight, the two of us will rob my house. Aww. I'm glad Sean's is doing that with her. She can't do that alone. I'd be nervous about her doing that alone. Oh, geez. Okay. There's a lot. 
Ew, 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 ew. I want to erase this bit. Ew, ew. Sister Bernadette, Bernadetta, Sisters of Mercy, Castle Street, Westport, Mayo. Mayo. It's one of the 32 Irish colonies. It's the province, it's in the province of Connaught, the west coast, above Galway, and below Sligo. The name is from Irish, oh, they told me how to say that. My EO pronunciation, May O, much like the condiment. Krogan as the mountain of the west coast of Gill Island that descends into the sea. The fictional big house situated on its slip is named after it. Crow Hawn, sorry. To the occupants, your tenancy of the dwelling at Crow Hawn House, Keel West, Duga, Akil, Co Mayo is illegal, and an application for the court order of forcible removal has been submitted. If you do not leave before 1412-1993, Agarda Siochana. Oh, what is that? It doesn't say. Well, I guess it'll tell me in a second. What we call then? Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's the that's uh, guard. You have the whole of twenty-four hours of termination date to vacate and give up possession of the above dwelling any issue as to the validity of this notice or the right of the landlord to serve it must be referred to the residential tennessee's board this notice is served 4 12 1993 signed sister bernadetta Ooh, landlord gross ew oh poor cassio i don't worry to start should I ever call me Cassio? I've been waiting for you to come home all week. What's happened all of a sudden? You're like a different person. Whatever it is, I know things will be right as rain soon. I want you to know I forgive you for the things you said. You were angry, and we all say things we don't mean when we're angry. Maybe you're afraid to come home because of that. And maybe you're afraid you've ruined things between us. But it isn't true. I'm still your mom. I'll always be here. I'm going to read this because I'm worried this might erase all of this because I know it erased everything a second ago. Altogether, decide when to keep and what to throw away. Uh, okay. I haven't touched any of your things. I did notice some things you might want to talk about. When you get back, we'll go through all together, decide what to keep and what to throw away. She's trying, but she has all these ideas of how I should be. Missing you, Mom. She didn't even consider she might need to apologize to Oh, jeez. It's true. Poor girl. Heist plan. Walk quietly to Duga via the bog road. Dua? Dua is a smaller village in the southwest island. Southwest end of the island. Cassio's family lives here. An example of what's often called a green road or Borean in Ireland. An old unpaved track with grass growing in the middle. Okay. Open my bedroom windows using the janky hinge. Pack up my stuff. Don't wake Fergal. Don't wake mom. Figure out life with clean clothes. Yes! That's a great heist plan. Figure out life with clean clothes. Clean clothes are important for sure. The clouds broke as we crossed into the bog road. When I heard the stream, I knew we were close. Cute, cute little heist to do together. Friends help friends with heists. I'm with transphobic parents. And friends help friends be safe. The Bog Road. Heist. D 10, 20 p.m. December 13th. Do you do this? If anyone's Irish watching, do you, do you guys use your times like this? Like, write your times like this? Is that, like, stylistic, I wonder? I would imagine they just do that. Before I met these guys, I couldn't have imagined the excite this excitement in a million years. Cute. Sean's asked me if I'd miss this place. It sounded so final. I just said no quickly. I didn't feel like talking about it. We climbed up the stairs my dad spent two summers on. I remember fights about whether mom should make apple sponge or apple crumble for dessert. 
poor girl. I remember sick days at home watching Bosco on the TV under, cup, under blankets. Bosco was a very famous TV show for children that ran during the 70s and 80s. The host was a non-gendered puppet in a box who was still very fondly remembered by Irish pop culture. Oh, cute. Oh, gosh. I went a little wild there. I thought about her old dog, Molly. And the way she stuck in under my ha arms looking for rubs. Oh, I had an old, old dog named Molly, too. She also passed away. <laughs> and how light she felt in my lap when she died. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm getting... Yeah, oh, I'm relating to that. Hitting too close to home, frick. Hey, don't get your mug on my jacket. I'm in. This room never felt like mine. How can such a small, empty room have so much stuff in it? I should have brought a bigger bag. Whatever, I can fit it. Whatever I can fit will all have to be... Whatever I can fit will be all I have for after two decades. Ugh, that sucks. Or maybe this room is so blank because I hadn't figured out who I was. All I wanted is to sit in the back of the class and read books. Oh. Girly, me too. Maybe this room lacks identity because it always had to be ready for guests. Granny at Christmas, aunts coming home, cousins from St. Paul. My chest hurt as I looked at my bed. Part of me wanted to crawl into it, bury myself in the cool sheets and their familiar scent. Oh, her little dinosaur lamp. All my old clothes were things other people thought I should like. I didn't care enough to have an opinion. Footsteps in the hall. Oh no. Oh no, the music distorting. You. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I thought you were a burglar. I can see you, you know. Oh, Cass. Do you ever think about mom? The complete gobsheen. Oh, I know what that is. An Irish insult. Another one of many ways of calling someone stupid. Hi, Fergal. Oh, brother. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was mom. Okay. Uh, think you have a different voice. What if she heard you? She'd probably be awake now worrying about robbers. Who's going to rob us on a kill? That doesn't stop her fretting, you know. Cassio? Oh, wait. Cassio? Are you okay? Who's that? None of your business. I know you're living in the big house. What of it? Lots of rumors about what goes on there. They're all like you, right? My god. No one is like me. Oh, her brother sucks, dude. I thought at least he would... I thought he was like... I don't know. Maybe like... Not like ignorant, but like... I didn't think he was mean to her. Jeez. That sucks. The biggest freak around, that's for sure. I'm leaving. Hold on right there. We're not done. Shans, take my bag. You're going to regret this. Sooner or later, your choices are going to catch up with you. I'm jumping. Catch me. Keep your bloody voice down. What a jerk. God, he sucks. I'm so worried because I'm worried about this found family not work. Oh no. Not that recording completely being gone.
this is where we'll stop here. Don't don't worry about me. Past past me when you're seeing this. I've already suffered and figured this out, I'm sure. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to calm myself down because that's really frustrating. I'll fix it in post. It's fine. Thank you for watching. This seems really good so far. I'm very excited to dig more into this. This is a beautiful story and I'm so excited to, to see more of it for sure. It's... God, I feel for Cassio so much. I just hope she's happy in the end. I'm so worried because it seems like there was a falling out of some sort. I don't know if she did something or if she thinks she did something or if just something had to have gone wrong but clearly she went back and went for to get her doctorate at least so that's positive but I'm nervous to see what happens with her and the others I don't know but thank you guys for watching again I hope you guys enjoyed all my socials are down below and they'll also be after the at the end of this video but I guess let's see let's see what happens. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for watching again. Bye.